According to Forbes, by 2050, Internet of Things, IoT technology will be in 95% of electronics for new product designs. From data connected to the cloud and to the internet and space tourism could be feasible in 2050 but likely only for the very wealthy. The world will look dramatically different due to significant technological advancements. However, our world would be a very challenging place to come up with new technologies, with already burning issues like global warming. And ever-growing world's population will exceed at least 9 billion. By 2050, about 75% of the world population will be living in cities. Then there will be buildings touching the sky and cities will be settled from the ground up. What do you think would be possible? Let us know in the comment section below. Here is the world in 2050 and possible future technologies. Number 1. The world's first artificial general intelligence is close to becoming a reality. By 2050, major tech companies have already launched official projects to develop the world's first artificial general intelligence. This means billions of dollars are invested in these projects and large full-time staff are dedicated to this effort. These highly complex projects are expected to take anywhere from 10 to 20 years to complete, and figuring out how to model factors such as international creativity, strategic thinking, emotions, consciousness, and so on. The immediate use case is to have a self-aware AI that institutions can consult with to solve problems that were previously thought impossible. Another use case involves transferring copies of this AI to advanced humanoid robots that can handle a variety of situations in the real world. A small percentage of the world opposes this and there's constant backlash on the internet, but that was to be expected. However, it leaves the door open to super intelligent AI being developed by the end of the century and there's no feasible limit to how intelligent this AI could become. Such an AI could be smarter than all humans that have ever lived on the planet. Shortly afterwards, it could become trillions of times more intelligent than that. Number 2. Human-like robots are emerging In 2050, robots have the ability to master real-world environments and an increasingly diverse range of 3D objects. Although earlier robots were limited to fixed movements, this new generation has more dexterity and flexibility. Meanwhile, they can learn from their experiences and share knowledge with each other because of wireless internet speeds thousands of times faster than 6G, and the exponentially growing amounts of data being gathered from their sensors. These robots can identify objects, situations, and the actions they should perform next in the near real time, which enables a more human-like response. Although a few technological and scientific hurdles still remain, this is getting close to what many people would consider artificial general intelligence. The most advanced robots are restricted to government, corporate, and research institutions, and the households of the rich and famous. These more advanced robots have extremely lifelike appearances, facial expressions, and body language. Thanks to continuous emotional feedback from users and techniques such as motion capture, these robots almost look and act like real people. And as more data is provided to these robots, their body language and movements become more natural with each generation. Number 3. Smart cities are emerging in some regions In 2050, a small percentage of cities in some regions have become smart cities. These smart cities connect vehicles on the road to a central network that tracks their locations in real time. These types of networks receive terabytes of information from a huge number of sources such as road sensors, traffic lights, and so forth. Those sources provide information such as the number of cars on the roads, road blockages, weather patterns, the state of emergency services, and more. Autonomous vehicles on roads constantly communicate and coordinate with each other to optimize the flow of traffic in these cities. Thanks to this coordinated information exchange, traffic congestion and jams have become much less severe in large cities. Autonomous vehicles ride behind each other at a distance of only 20 centimeters, which saves space on the road. And due to this coordination, autonomous vehicles make turns at intersections almost full speed with a low probability of accidents occurring. Manually parking vehicles is a thing of the past for owners of autonomous vehicles. Autonomous vehicles can be programmed to drop their owners off somewhere and then search for the cheapest available parking spots within a city. At a designated time, vehicles return and pick up their owners. And autonomous vehicles sharing has become a booming industry, which has disrupted companies like Uber and Lyft. Number 4. Brain-Computer Interfaces Have Improved By Orders Of Magnitude in 2050, brain-computer interfaces have vastly improved over the versions from the 2030 and they're largely usable for everyday purposes. Headbands and wristbands with non-invasive sensors have become the preferred choice for mainstream brain-computer interface use. 
These interfaces are usually standard accessories for virtual reality headsets, including high-priced VR helmets that offer full-drive VR experiences. And some brain-computer interfaces are fully implantable for medical and military purposes. Brain-computer interfaces now offer a bi-directional exchange of information. These advanced neural interfaces send waves to the brain, transmitting visual, audio, and other sensations to the user. The images and experiences generated by these devices are almost indistinguishable from reality, and they're unique to each user because they depend on the structure of the brain. Additionally, these devices will allow people in VR games and experiences to communicate with each other using relatively simple thoughts. However, it will take a few more decades before this feature is refined. Number 5. Two Space Elevators Have Been Built In 2050, two space elevators have been built, and they're the largest engineering projects ever undertaken. China and the Obayashi Corp, a global construction firm based in Tokyo, Japan, committed to building their own space elevators more than three decades ago, and that vision has come to life. These space elevators are planet-to-space transportation systems that each have a cable anchor to the Earth's surface and extending into space. This design permits an elevator to travel along the cable directly into orbit without the use of large rockets. They're located near the Earth's equator, and the competing forces of gravity and outward centrifugal force hold up the cables under tension. The material used to create the cables are carbon nanotubes, which are lightweight and hundreds of times stronger than steel. These space elevators are frequently being used by institutions to deliver cargo into space and return cargo to the Earth. They're also capable of transporting astronauts and tourists to low-orbit space stations. Each space elevator costs about $10 billion to build. However, they made this money back in savings after transporting only a few payloads. That's because transporting cargo with space elevators is less than 1% of the cost when using rockets. Number 6. VR glasses are replacing smartphones Virtual reality headsets now have 16K resolution, and they're reduced in size so much that they resemble goggles or glasses, and they have multiple display modes. From the augmented reality mode allows the lenses to be transparent so that you can view holograms to the mixed reality mode, allowing the lenses to be transparent as well so that you can view hyper-realistic virtual objects in the real world that seem to obey the laws of physics. In the augmented and mixed reality modes, you can view a smart stream where you can manipulate multiple apps and files using your brain activity. It's because of these features that VR glasses are considered the next step of evolution after smartphones. However, many people continue to prefer smartphones. VR and augmented reality contact lenses are other areas that are gradually being adopted. Number 7. Mars Has a Permanent Human Presence In 2050, a permanent team of scientists and robotics engineers will be present on Mars. SpaceX is leading much of this effort, and the first civilian tourists also have arrived. Significant innovations in autonomous robotic mining systems were required before the first human set foot on Mars. Autonomous mining robots mine for and create water. Autonomous robots also extract hydrogen from the water to create hydrogen-based fuel and satellites containing solar panels orbit Mars provide energy to the Mars base as well. This base will soon be expanded with additional facilities providing more energy, food production, recycling systems, mining equipment, and other tools. Vehicles are supplied as well, enabling scientists to roam hundreds of miles. More sophisticated long-term bases are now being planned to accommodate larger teams of personnel, tourists, and corporate interests. Mars colonization is profitable because of the sales of intellectual property rights to Earth. The mining for valuable metals on Mars and the ongoing mining of asteroids in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Space mining is a significant consideration because the amount of money that corporations can make from it is in the trillions. And the minerals in these asteroids hold mineral wealth equivalent to about $100 billion for every individual on Earth. Number 8. Augmented and Mixed Reality is Everywhere most of the cities have turned into augmented reality zones, which can be experienced by using augmented reality glasses, lenses, or other devices. Location-specific augmented reality overlays are created by corporations and individual creators. Urban landscapes are filled with information of all types, which can be filtered as needed using augmented reality apps. Price tags in stores, menus in restaurants, and schedules at public transportation stops have all become virtual. It's also become common to use augmented reality to access navigation from one location to another, get reviews for nearby institutions, and view notable 3D animations and videos of past events in certain locations. Number 9. Hyperloop tunnels are enabling faster international travel 
The Hyperloop concept usually involves passenger pods traveling through pressurized tubes using electric propulsion and magnetic levitation. Cargo is also transported considerably faster than before with this method. Hyperloop pods travel at speeds between 600 and 700 miles per hour. They also reduce transit-related greenhouse gas emissions by 90%. And due to the time they save, they provide economic benefits totaling over a trillion dollars every year when compared to previous transportation methods. Over a dozen domestic Hyperloop tunnels were finalized by the early 2030s. Now, tunnels have been built to allow high-speed transportation between multiple countries. This development created a boom in the tourism industry. This development is also disrupting the air and rail travel industries. However, the widespread introduction of supersonic aircraft in the early 2030s for long-distance traveling is mitigated the effects of this disruption. Number 10. Video games are becoming hyper-realistic. In 2050, video games are photorealistic. Advancements in game engines and world-building software make it easier and faster than ever for game studios and independent creators to build large and realistic virtual worlds. Cities within these worlds are fully explorable in terms of shops, office spaces, and most other types of interiors. Likewise, an entire forest can now be rendered with sub-millimeter precision showing unique and random features such as individual leaf marks and insect bites. Non-playable characters in video games can generate and sustain natural and indefinite conversations. This is thanks to language models and deep learning algorithms in the cloud that are many orders of magnitude more advanced than the GPT-3 model from the early 2020s. Advanced character builders make it relatively easy to build hundreds of unique non-playable characters at a time that each has a unique personality and life story. Generative Adversarial Networks, or GAN, technology also improves character gestures, expressions, and actions, making them more fluid and lifelike. At this stage, character animations aren't 100% realistic yet, but they're incredibly close. And increasingly, video games are being created using real locations as their environments. Well, what do you think future technologies will bring? Hope you enjoy this video. If yes, I'm sure you're going to love to watch our video about the 10 mysterious lost worlds that you didn't know existed on our channel. Make sure to click the subscribe button for future notifications and never miss our videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.